Oh my god. Does anyone actually eat these things or? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our Valentine's Day video. We decided to do um, <laughs> conversation heart inspired DIYs this year, which um, now seems like an even better idea after having one of these again. They taste like chalk. Yeah, they're not good. And I thought I was gonna break my teeth. Yeah. So it's better to DIY something. They're definitely cuter looking than tasting. Yeah. <laughs> so we've done DIY conversation heart pillows for you and also mini conversation hearts that you can use as like Valentine's, put on your friend's locker, slip them into like their pockets. When they're not looking. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy these conversation heart DIYs more than you enjoy conversation hearts. So to start, you're going to need a large piece of white fleece. If you're able to find pastel fleece, then go for it. We're going to take two sheets of white paper and tape them together, and folding it in half, trace out half a heart shape so we can make a template. Conversation hearts are usually rounder instead of longer. Next, fold the fleece in half, and we're going to pin the heart template onto it and cut out two pieces of hearts. We're also going to cut out a really long strip of fleece, make it long enough so that, that it can wrap around your heart shape, and we made ours about two and a half inches thick if you're wondering. Once all the pieces are cut out, we're going to dye it pastel colors. We use Dylon dye in rose to make this pink color. To make the dye, we heated two cups of water in one pot and enough water to soak your entire fabric in another. Add the dye and three teaspoons of salt to the two cups of water to make the dye solution and pour your other pot of heated water into a bucket. Slowly add tablespoons of the dye to the large bucket of water to create your pastel dye. Uh, for this rose color, we used um, about seven tablespoons, but for a darker color like the purple we made, you're only gonna need three, and just play it by ear. Your liquid dye may look dark, but your fabric is always gonna turn out lighter. Make sure your fabric is fully submerged and let it sit for 20 minutes, checking on it along the way. Bring out any excess dye and let it air dry. Pro tip, if you have a white couch or are really worried about any dye transfer, make sure you run your fabric through the washing machine. Once all your pieces are dry, we're going to use a hot glue gun and start by placing the good sides together and we're going to glue along the edge. Do small amounts at a time and bend your large strip to fit the shape of the heart. Since this is just a decorative pillow for Valentine's Day, we're fine with hot gluing it, but if you want it all year round, then we recommend you sew it, either hand stitch it or put it through a sewing machine. Once you get all the way around to the top of your heart again, you're going to cut off any extra fabric that you may have from the long strip, and then you're just going to repeat gluing the edges together with your other side of the heart. Just again, make sure that your good sides are together when you glue. And once you get to the end, make sure you leave a couple inches open so that we can flip our heart inside out. Now we're going to print out what you want written on your heart. One letter at a time, we're going to cut them out and then pin the letters onto the felt and cut them out with more detail. Then we're going to hot glue our letters into place on the heart. And next we're going to stuff the heart with our pillow stuffing. And last step is to use the hot glue gun to seal up the rest of the edges of your pillow. We made a bay, text me, and for the not so fans of Valentine's Day, we made a nope pillow. Just nope. 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 And for our mini valentines, we used pastel foam and cut out little conversation heart shapes with tiny little messages on them with a red marker or sharpie. We added little magnet strips on the back of some of them so that you can stick them on your friend's locker or your crush when they're not looking. Hope you guys like those conversation heart inspired DIYs. Let us know what your guys' thoughts are on Valentine's Day. If you're a fan, if you're not a fan, I mean, I'm kind of impartial about it. Like, yeah, I'm different. 
if you love someone, tell them every day of the year. And yeah. If you and don't, don't have buy someone, chocolate and greeting cards and yeah, yeah. And don't feel bad if you're alone. And if you guys are in the mood for any more Valentine's Day inspired DIYs, our friend Kelsey, not this one, who runs the <laughs> DIY Diary here on YouTube, did some Valentine's Day inspired T-shirts that we love, and you should seriously go check. And some anti Valentine's. So make sure to check out that video here or it will be linked in the description below. And if you guys saw our Instagrams and we had the whole travel series, it's because we were both away. Maybe we look tanned. Hopefully. Maybe we don't because we're back in Canada and we've both been here now. The snow like sucked my tan instantly as soon as I landed on the plane. <laughs> Pretty um, much. Yeah, so we are, we did both vlog while we were away, we were away separately, and we will edit those, and they should be coming up soon, so make sure you're subscribed to The Story Life, our vlog channel, and be on the lookout for those. We hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.